Okay, let's look at another polyprotic acid problem. So in this one, they want you to find the, the pH again and then calculate the concentration of that final ion. Um, so we're going to take this polyprotic acid. You know it's polyprotic because they give you two equations, two Ka's. So we have our first ionization written here, just like we usually do. Um, take one of these hydrogens off, make hydronium in here, and then you can set up your Ka expression. Ka1 is going to be hydronium. And you can do this to H2C2O4. Okay, so we set up our Ka expression. We know what that uh, that is 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2. So as soon as you see that Ka, 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2, negative 2 is, is kind of big. It's kind of, this is a big Ka, which means your ionization is probably going to be more than 5%, which means we probably have to use the quadratic equation. So we'll, we'll run through the quadratic really quickly here. Uh, we have 0.02 was our initial. We don't have any of this, so we set up the rest of our ice table the way we usually do. We know 2O minus x, x, and x. And now you're going to take all of this and plug it in up here. And so we have 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2 is x squared over. 0.020 minus x. Now we don't want to ignore this x because this, if you if you do ignore it and then you can test it out and you'll find that the um, percent ionization is greater than 5%. So you're going to need to use the quadratic. So if you remember the quadratic equation, uh, first thing you want to do is kind of get this in the format that looks like, um, where are we? ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. That's kind of what we have to, to get this into. So we're going to take this bottom part and multiply over. So you have your 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2 times the bottom 0 0.020 minus x equals x squared. And then bring all, multiply these through and bring them over. So when I multiply these through, I get 0 0.00118 minus uh, 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2 is x squared, and then I'll bring these over, so I'll subtract this, and I'll add this side to both sides, and so I end up with x squared, uh, blah, x squared plus, I'll just write it out here, so subtract 0, 0, 1, 1, 8, subtract on that side and add the 5.9 times the negative 2 uh, and that's going to equal 0 so we get the following um, we have a is equal to 1 right so you just look at what's in front of the um, x squared that's a 1 b is right here oh I dropped my x yep when you multiply through here you have an x Make sure you don't lose that x or it won't make any sense. b is 5.9 times 10 to the negative 2. And c is negative 0.00118. So that's a, b, and c. And now you can plug that into the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Or the, the, not the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, the quadratic equation, uh, which looks like negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and so you can plug all of this in uh, and you get I'm going to switch from 5.9 times the negative 2 that's just 0 0.059 so I have negative 0 0.059 plus or minus that's negative b plus or minus b squared 0.059 minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 0 0.00118, all over 2, basically 2 times 1. So when you work both of those out, you get uh, x is 
0 0.0. You should get two numbers. One's not going to make any sense. One, one's going to be negative. Or it's going to be way bigger than your initial. That's not going to matter. And the only one that really matters is this one, 0 0.0158. So take a minute, try to plug that in your, into your calculator. And this is what x is. OK, so that's here. That's this guy right here. This is 0 0.0158. This is 0 0.0158. Though that's our equilibrium, those are, that's our equilibrium concentration of hydronium and this other ion. So those are going to be our initial concentrations when we come down here. So when we make our ice table, this is 0 0.0158 and 0 0.0158. So you don't have any of this, but you do have hydronium. It's really important that you already have some hydronium in your system. So keep it in there. Make sure that you have an initial concentration of hydronium. 0 0.0158 minus x. 0 0.0158 plus x and x. And now we can plug that into Ka2, which is um, it's the products of reactants again. x times 0 0.0158 plus x over we know 158 minus x, and this is equal to Ka2, which is 6.4 times 10 to the negative 5. And what we can do is we can say that now times 10 to the negative 5, now this x is going to be small, so we can we can ignore those two x's, which means I have x times 0.0158 over 0.0158, so these will cancel, and x is again just equal to Ka2, so that's 6.4 times 10 to the negative 5. Now if you go over to this ice table, this is what x is. x is the 6.4 times 10 to the negative 5. And your hydronium concentration is um, kind of what we need to find the pH. It's going to be what we started with, 0 0.0158 plus the 6.4 times 10 to the negative 5, which works out to be 0.0158. Um, so this number, this 6.5 times, that's this concentration. That's the C2O4, 2 minus, which they asked for in part B. So yes, you do want to put a box around that number. But to find the pH, you have to kind of look at the first step where you got most of your hydronium, and then you had a little bit more, but the little bit more was so little that it didn't really contribute much to the, to the pH. And now we'll do that. Negative log of 0 0.0158. which is 1.80, 1.80 for the pH. And again, there's no units on pH. 1.80, I used uh, two sig figs because if you go all the way back up, I've been carrying out one extra sig fig all the way through. Ooh. But the Ka's both just had uh, two sig figs and the initial concentration also had two sig figs. So your final answer, you're looking for the pH and you're looking for this ion concentration. So we had to use the quadratic in this one.